This guy is both terrifying and underrated. We're talking about Crunch because he has insane damage potential. And in the very late game, Cantrin just can transition to be a very good front line that brings utility and some other interesting things as well. Now, how does this work with such a unique hero? That's what this build, Captain Caster Crunch, is trying to do. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a hero deck and guide. I am Sylphan. So we're taking a look at Crunch here with a deck I call Captain Caster Crunch with some great alliteration thrown in there. So Crunch is really, really interesting. He's a fantastic initiator, provides great burst, is a great wild hero that can just roam all over the place. He is he can control heroes like nobody's business and works really well. This build here very flexible um on it's on its transition into the into the late game uh which is why we're, and it, we're tanky in the late game which is why we get the centurion so you start off with the sage's siphon or well you start off with your dummy ward here in the guardians ward going into the sage's siphon you go into a guardians ward you go into a armivore which we'll talk more about later into a madstone gym two adam and edges as some options here into a stinger boost into a nanoplasm oh no i took that out ah! nope i switched it out for the tempered plate here of course i didn't update my notes um and then we go into a tainted magic into a thermobond into a thick blood into a Guardian's Ward. The order that you kind of get these cards down here is totally situational. I was more just listing them uh, rather than rather than the order that, that, that they occur in. As you can see here, there'll be some options in the Tempered Plate and Thermobond. We'll talk about that later. Final, uh, final deck here, Thermobond, Tainted Magic, Stinger Boost, Thick Blood, Tempered Plate, and this Guardian's Ward. Now, in this match, I, I I got a little aggro putting down the dummy ward and had to get my forward crunch to escape. Now, it actually didn't end up being that bad because when you start in your right white camp, it actually worked out okay. I could use my forward crunch to close the gap between me and the next camp. So, it worked all right. You start off in the right, go to the top, you do the green camp here with your siphon, of course, to kind of start off that three minutes. Now, uh, unfortunately, I was a little bit late starting. Um, I was a bit, well, I didn't have my, I didn't have my left crunch, which is the one that deals extra cleave and more damage. So unfortunately, I don't get level three. I, I don't get to the river camp by the three minute mark. Our Mora Gesh got, got, got one of them, got both of them actually, maybe, I think. Anyways, so it really didn't quite matter all too much. So uh, at this point, you're just kind of trying to, you know, if you get that green buff, go get, help get those camps, get that river buff, maybe try to get a gank off in the early game. Uh, in, in, in that in that mid mid lane, really nice and quick. Now the third ability that, that we get is our E, is our uh, right crunch. Uh, and if you have this, um, this chimera here going to town on me uh even though i save my forward crunch to escape after he leaps so very smart on my part to save that forward crunch to get away now what are all of his abilities so the reason why you should start with your left crunch is because that is his his cleave his his cleave ability he swings his 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 his, his left arm to do a nice good cleave um, against all targets in front of him that is the one that deals the most damage that's kind of his damage ability it's a uh, pretty good scaling if i do remember myself here just trying to pull it up um and low mana cost as well so left crunch, yes, 70.75 power scaling, doing 75 to 225 damage in the late game with a 70% to 100% cleave. 
very, very effective for lane clearing, um, and it does a pretty damn good job. That is the main one. That's the one that you want to use uh, on those camps to really help clear them quicker. The next one that you probably should be getting is your is your right crunch, and that is his slow or knock up uh, when it's empowered ability. 0.5 power scaling and it doesn't deal as much damage 70 to 205 not as not as much damage but it applies a 200 to 350 uh 50 point slow so very very good at at providing crowd control and when it's empowered from his ultimate his ultimate's passive it turns into a knock up and stun the last ability uh, that you should probably be getting is your forward crunch, your RMB, and that is, it doesn't really do much damage, 40 to 160 with 0.25 power scaling, but it sends you shooting forward 1250 unit range, stopping on the first enemy hero hit. Now when it's empowered, it goes a little bit farther, 1500 unit range, and it kind of pushes everybody that is that that is in front of you right to the end of that 1500 unit range so very very powerful in escaping and engaging um on enemies as you've been seeing as a jungler it's your job to get your your jungle camps as much as possible um preferably only when they're about four to five stacks since you since you pretty much want to uh, waste as little time in the jungle as possible and try to be in lane as much as possible as well so you really only want to get your jungle camps when they're four and five stacks uh, just just to make your time more valuable as you can see trying to help push down lanes I helped our safe lane or say our, 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 our duo in the safe lane push down their tower and uh, the squad has actually been doing a good job in, in our off lane and it hasn't really needed my help too too much now the first card we get is our Sage's Siphon to help us get health back uh, in the jungle. We get a ward as a jungler. Very, very important. Um, always be getting a ward at, uh, from your third, from your fourth to sixth CP. You use that that three to get uh, your your ward, and then we're going into a a Madstone Gem. We're going to get a little bit more power before we actually switch our Siphon out for our Armivore. What the Armivore does is on basic attack, hit, you gain six mana. So it basically, you can transfer the mana that you get back from Armivore to just use it to, to using abilities, which clears the which clears the wave faster. So it, it kind of, which also saves you health from getting hit by the minions. So it's a really interesting play that you get mana back, which then you can use abilities to clear the wave faster to save health. It's a very interesting, uh, a very interesting dynamic that you'll see us get first uh, uh, soon. We just need a little bit more damage first in order uh, for 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 that to really work. Here is a good gank in the mid lane. I see that that uh, that she kind of gets intrigued by our duo here, and I come in body block, take some hits by the tower in order to make sure that we get that kill. Now, why are we glowing here? On the back, we have a jet, our jets on. That is the indication that our ultimate, a passive for our ultimate is ready. And what our ultimate is here, it's called re-crunch. Every 20, 15, 10 seconds, you can reuse the last ability that you use. If the last ability was a left crunch, it'll be a left crunch. If it was a right crunch, it'll be a right, etc., etc. Now, what the passive effect also, though, is it enables you to cut down 0.4 to 1 second off of your active cooldowns per basic attack. So if you have abilities on cooldown, you can help, you can, you can reduce those abilities in their cooldown as much, uh, you know, every time you hit. So crunch the more he can hit a target with his basic attack the more his his cooldowns will be reduced very 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 cool plus what his what his ultimate does is unlock the empowered state of all of his abilities you might have noticed i said um what it what these abilities also do because they also have an empowered state now in this little skirmish here, you will see that Crunch is quite slippery if you save his forward crunch so that you can forward crunch away and then re-crunch 
to get out. Now, what are those empowered states? Well, there's empowered forward crunch is you can push enemies the entire 1500 unit range, which is farther than it's normal at 1200. His right, his left crunch gets bonus damage while while it while it cleaves so it just does an insane amount of additional damage and then your e your right crunch which is the normally a slow gets bonus damage and it turns into a knock up and it's his uppercut which you use pretty frequently uh you pretty much always i find you pretty much always use an empowered right crunch because that's that stun the knock up is just too too powerful and that's kind of really um just knock up crowd control is really 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 important so that is the empowered state of his abilities which you have to keep in mind when you are using it you know if you want an empowered right crunch well you got to use something right crunch re-crunch or something something right crunch right you you have to keep that in mind and it just becomes intuitive after a while you play enough crunch and you just kind of know right forward crunch something and then the next one's empowered or if you if you if you if you manage to get into a good position and you can save your forward crunch something something and then the next one's uh, the, and then the next one's empowered really i'm just kind of thinking of what do i want to be empowered and then i and then i just use two abilities before that um and then, and then use that so um i usually end up using my right crunch uh, my re-crunch as my uh, as my empower is the one that's empowered so usually i go i go something whatever i want empowered re-crunch that's usually what so um or if it's a forward crunch to engage it's forward crunch whatever i want empowered re-crunch that's usually what i do just because i mean it really doesn't matter if you use a re-crunch like now or the next ability or a couple abilities later just because i mean you're only talking about a split second really um when from the basic attacks that are in there now one very important thing about crunch is that he's all about animation canceling his your everybody's basic attack has a white has a wind up damage application and then the follow through so there's the wind up damage application follow through now some some heroes it depends on you know when the damage is applied during their basic attack um some are very quick some are kind of later crunch is pretty much half and half half wind up half follow through now what you can do is basic attack followed by an ability to actually just cut out the follow through all together so you now only wind up damage application and then and then the ability you kind of lose half of the time it takes to do a basic attack that is very important as that increases your dps tremendously look at that i barely had a follow through there i was like basically hit then damage ability hit then a then, then an ability to really cut down on the time that it takes crunch to deal his damage so he has a pretty he has a, he has a good skill cap there uh, where if you can really cut down on those on the duration of his basic attack and you can animation cancel properly you can weave basic attacks in between his abilities which is obviously in increases his dps tremendously and is an important thing uh of the build that you'll see later on so it, it just takes practice basic attack into an animation cancel ability into a basic attack animation cancel into a basic attack animation cancel and that's your empowered one there so it just takes practice but it is tremendously important because this basically means you don't need attack speed you don't need attack speed as animation canceling provides you with your attack speed of course attack speed still increases the duration of the f of the first half of his basic of his basic attack but then you're kind of only getting half value in a way for attack speed it is a consideration for sure when you're playing crunch now this engagement doesn't really go too well for us as i don't really focus the appropriate target here i should have forgotten about this bellic and gone straight for the murdoch uh that we that ends up dying here as a stasis gem and he used it tremendously well so many times so at this point we have 
our armivore, madstone gem. Then we got our two adamant edges that I felt we just needed that health that, that we that we get from them and that power. You you know you ha you fulfill a damage roll until you fulfill a frontline roll. It's at this point when I was like, we need frontline. Now because we are getting focused pretty good and they have uh, they have the they have the chi the chimera root and stun into the uh, Bellica to, to the Bellica knockup. We went with for our thermobond. We traded our uh, the Adam and Edge had more power for it for the thermobond, and we got the thick blood as well in order to deal with the chimera and the enemy phase. What the thick the thick blood is fantastic on Crunch as it will provide it will provide him with the fantastic capability of always having reduced healing applied on a target because he's always hitting with an ability it works tremendously well if he can focus down you know high priority target he can do wonders this is a fantastic engagement here that we end up winning pretty well you catch this a chimera being really aggressive even though he has been doing a fantastic he did he they end up winning, we end up losing, and he's a very big part of that. So, I am the front line. I try to go in. I'm, like, focusing the phase. I'm, like, I need to apply that thick blood. Look at that. Uh, the her health regen. I mean, she was getting focused quite a bit. So, now I switch my, fo my focus to the Murdoch. Because we have them, um, you know, on the back foot, I can very easily uh, be pushing pushing their backline high priority targets and therefore they need to focus me instead of the other way around whereas I'm trying to help up my backline. You can see here that the 12 point guardians ward with all this health brings up to 2400 health here which is just helping out our sustain. Great engagement there where you can see that we just kind of steamrolled right through them and I yeah I missed out that stun from the belly club but that only would have helped us there really really good trying to use that knock up the empowered uh the empowered right right crunch to great effect trying to really really knock people up at crucial times secure people in place so that the rest of your team can also follow up very very strong one thing you should note is that crunch works differently from from pretty much any other hero i think in that if you press an ability he will queue up his abilities so you can queue up your abilities so that they just kind of happen very important that you don't just spam away your abilities because uh he will perform them even if you you know you press a button mid other ability very important is that can screw you up so much it can so it can totally screw you up unfortunately we have our we have our prime buff wars off we don't this engagement goes south and kind of the rest of the game goes south. But we can talk about Stinger Boost. Basically, this was designed for Crunch. On ability cast, gain bonus ability damage on your next basic attack equal to 50 plus 20% of your power. Bonus damage buff will expire after 20 seconds, and it has a 1.5 second cooldown. It was, This was, like, made for Crunch, man. You can very easily weave in your basic attacks you can start off with the basic attack into an ability the next basic attack is empowered with that damage your next ability comes before that 1.5 cooldowns off so the next ability after your empower your next basic attack after your empowered state is unfortunately not empowered but your next ability after that so it works tremendously well absolutely phenomenal on crunch increases that damage a lot so with a little bit of power that we do get in the in, in in the late game that will help enforce uh stinger boost quite well but it's a very very easy and effective way for crunch to get increased damage this engagement is pretty good we end it ends up being a four for four but i go to town on this phase to make sure that she is eliminated from the battlefield you need to take her out or, or else she's just gonna go to town we take her out i go on the next low no low health target obliterate that bellica you can see that the stinger boost is going to town i win the duel here from this um 
from this Chimera. Take him out. And then this Greystone, obviously. Well, he's Greystone. He does Greystone things. And I just get away. Great, great uh, showcase of the tankiness with the damage as well. Um, you know, to kind of be that, that, that menace. You can be... Go after the back line as what we were doing. Going for that phase. And then finish off that Bellica. Or you can help peel for your allies with that uppercut to kind of stun people. Give your give your your friendly team a chance to get away. So not only is this a showcase of why Nanoplasm, which we switched out for uh, a tempered plate, why that doesn't work, but there's also a showcase of why you got to be careful in queuing up your abilities. You can see I'm swinging at nothing. I'm missing all of these attacks and abilities on this Greystone. Because he queues up his abilities, I'm missing things. Look, I missed that. I'm missing these. I, I, I hit that, but I miss all of those. I what? Like wh what am I doing? What am I doing? Crunch. The 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 actual mechanic of him doing his like using his abilities can mess you up. You got to be careful. You absolutely have to know whether your ability is going to hit, when it's not, and when to stop. Because if you queue up things, you're, you're just done for. Now at this point, you want Frontline. As you can see, we died pretty well. So we have this Guardian's Ward with all of this health. We have our Thermobond here with all this barrier and health. And we, instead of upgrading here this cast on this Thick Blood, we would have gone into the Tempered Plate here that would replace this Nanoplasm, which is in the build um, that, you, that you saw before. Now, why the Tainted Magic? Well, because you're going to be such a good frontline, and I don't peel for my, my Revenant here at all, I get obliterated. Again, another reason for that basic, the basic armor. Uh, which, I mean, that was a whole bunch of burst, but still, that tainted magic, because we're going to be so tanky with that tempered plate, and just being smart and not getting caught out like that, uh, you're going to be able to continually use your kit on your targets. Your uppercut and your cleave can both, both do damage, ability damage, to multiple heroes, and applying tainted magic on targets is going to be much more damage much more damage than what your other abilities could ever do and especially since you're trying to be tanky you're not going to have that much power so tainted magic incredible value you're going to have a 2.6 whatever 8 divided by 3 is that percentage of their health gone every second as long as you can keep fighting uh, attacking your target it's going to add up tremendously and be that sorts of damage that um, the brawler port of of crunch requires. That was it. Pretty good showcase of the deck of uh, of crunch. We lose this game. Enemy team was just doing a fantastic job. Shout out to Mr. Nib <coughs> for being a freaking beast chimera this entire time. And he got away. Got away with a damage build too. So shout out to him. Please, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of this deck trying to make Crunch work? I've heard tremendous response from uh, from viewers, from you guys, going 20 and 10 with this deck, uh, just winning a whole bunch of games with it. I've heard great, um, great reception from this deck from other people. So please let me know what you guys think about this deck. If you ever, if you guys use it, what do you guys think? Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Share it with the community, guys. And of course, subscribe. If you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, I would really, really, really would like to help you out in the future again. Till next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.